The other day, I opened YouTube on my computer and noticed that I haven't uploaded in, well, months. I choked on my coffee and almost died. <coughs> you remember that, huh? Uh, well, well, guess what? It's been over two weeks. Now it's been over two months. Yeah, I gotta get to work now. Which left that two months without an upload to haunt me everywhere I went. What the hell? Also, I think I might have COVID because every single time that I've had COVID before, everything for some reason tastes a bit like tomato sauce. So I decided the best solution was to actually play something on my violin. I decided the best way to mass produce songs to play was to learn them at great speed. So it only makes sense that I try to learn one of the most difficult and absolutely terrifying pieces as fast as I can. Because, I mean, if you can learn a difficult piece fast, that means I can learn an easy piece fast. And, according to my very accurate math, I should be able to learn three different remixes of Dance Monkey within under an hour. Oh, and did I mention something about an hour? Yeah, for my very accurate math to work, I have to learn this piece under an hour. I decided to learn the Sibelius Violin Concerto, because this website told me it was quite difficult, and definitely not because I spun a rigged wheel. I mean, who on earth would do that? So I started my timer and started learning this piece as fast as possible. Now you might have noticed that everything is brighter and shinier than usual. Now I think this is probably due to the sun shining into my room at a different angle. Or it might be these two massive studio lights I bought. I'm not 100% sure though. There was I. Here you can see me practicing the intro like a good violin practicing guy. Here you can see me writing down some fingerings that are probably terrible. After that I tried playing through it, which went fine I guess. And this is basically the whole process for these little runs. I'll also include this part as I think it sounds pretty cool. And now you can listen to me playing for a while without any commentary because I have no clue what to say over this and you and your little attention span better not click off. My commentary is gonna come back, I promise. And when I come back, I will be checking if you're still here. Please, please, I need those watch hours. Okay, I'm back. Here we have a pretty cool part that has whatever this is, and it's supposed to sound like this. Now, as you can hear, my interpretation of this part is a little bit slower, I guess. Now, this definitely isn't because I can't play it fast enough yet, but because I think taking a bit of time is important, because then you can fully reveal the notes. Okay, fine, it's because I can't play it fast enough yet. It sounds so cool when it's fast. Anyways, at the end of this horrifying part, there comes this little cool section that goes like... Okay, I don't know how to describe music. Listen, okay. Next up is this beautiful section. I absolutely love this part. Not only because six are the best interval. Okay, wait, let me fix that first quickly. That was absolutely disgusting. But also, Sibelius is like the melody master. Alliteration, that's pretty cool.
here is another one of those parts that goes up, but this time it comes down again. Yeah, and after that the scoop troll part follows. Okay, finally, that took long enough. The Cadenza. And I said that like it's some type of boss battle, and that's because it is like a boss battle. It's so freaking hard. These stupid, stupid, stupid calls. I don't like them. Like, I really don't like them. Anyways, after a few tears, I made it to this nice part again. Which made me happy. Until I realized that it goes up to freaking 20th position or something. Like, what the hell is that even? After some practicing, I went on to the next section. Which is another one of these beautiful melody parts which includes the best interval again. So after some fabulous six and some questionable octaves, I went on to this absolutely incredible part. Why is this part here? I don't know, it's probably a coda, I think. Don't quote me on that, I'm not very good at analyzing pieces, okay? And after failing at playing the violin, I managed to get this cool harmonic slide. Okay, I'll admit it, it wasn't that cool. Next up was this arpeggiated part, which is supposed to sound like this. But these freaking arpeggiated chords are like so so uncomfortable to play like and after realizing that i only had 30 minutes left i decided to give up and move on to deal with it later which means that i was at this octave section now and apparently it sounds like the super strikers theme he didn't respond to that and after some more questionable octaves and a bit of practice i managed to get this run which was only mildly terrible also, I know my camera decided that it doesn't like recording with good quality anymore. And for some reason it looks like this now. Anyways, I decided to go back and practice the, the parts that were, well, not playable for my hands. Which included whatever this part is. Also. I figured out a pattern which made it quite a bit easier. Also, I got a good run of this part and it sounds pretty cool, I guess. After that, I went back to the cadenza and managed to get a hang of the chords. 
kind of. And then finally, I went back to these stupid arpeggiated chords, although they do sound pretty cool though. I kind of got them to work, so I guess that's fine. Oh yeah, and I spent the last few minutes going through these octaves. It was great, trust me. Okay, so now for the final result. I played the whole thing to Caleb to see if I really accomplished my mission of learning this piece within under an hour. I'm sure he loves it. Now, even though I played it almost flawlessly, I must admit that it just missed Hilary Hahn's standard. So what does that mean for me and my very accurate math equation? Does that mean that I'll never be able to mass produce three remixes of Dance Monkey in under an hour? I don't know, maybe I'll test it someday. The slimmer. I would definitely not test that someday. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Please, please, please give me watch hours.